What is going on everyone? My name is NimbleThor and welcome back to my mobile gaming quest where today we are checking out Evil Lands, which is an online action RPG with both PvE and PvP. It's available on Android and on iOS already and the really cool thing about this game is that even though it's primarily all about running around and killing monsters, bosses and completing quests alone, we do actually play in a world filled with other players as well. Which means you can also invite your friends to come join you by the way, which is something I have not seen in all too many mobile action RPGs, especially not open world RPGs like this one. So the green dots on this map, uh, there are currently only four of them, are other players. So we could choose to run up to them, say hi, add them to our friend list, kill maybe even a boss monster together with them, or we can just ignore them. We can't really fight them in the server that I'm in right now. There are different game modes for PvE and for PvP. So what we're doing right now is we're just trying to reach level 13 so that we can unlock quest 2 of this second area of this game. Now the combat system is very fast paced and I'm really liking that. Look at this for example. This is our normal attacks here and then we've got a special ability as well which is this one which as you can see has us jump forward and then do sort of a leap attack. We also have a few other abilities such as this shield one here that adds some defense for some time and then we've got one that allows us to leap forward very very quickly. And look at us defeating some undead warriors here that looks so great. Overall the graphics in this game are really well made. I've cranked the settings up to ultra high and it looks definitely above average here on my OnePlus 7 Pro screen. Looks really great on a very large screen. And look at this, there's another player over here actually. Let's try running up to this one. Maybe we can find some sort of boss to kill together with this player here. Oh, it's level 19. He or she is level 19 already. Oh wow, we're only level 12, so I'm guessing that person is really strong. Let's go kill some monsters together with that person to hopefully get some easy experience points. This is a level 13 mighty troll that we're fighting here. Let's do our leap attack. There you go. Come on, we're not losing too much HP luckily though, but we got stunned there. Come on, we can do this. Let's take out the remaining HP from this guy. There you go. We defeated him together with the wizard. That's why it's nice sometimes to be uh, to be two players when defeating these monsters here. Now we are gonna regenerate HP automatically over time by the way, so let's just wait here for a tiny bit till we have some more and let's go see if we can find some more monsters here. I really wanna go explore this area over here near the dungeon. It seems there's some sort of dungeon over here. So let's try running up and seeing what sort of monsters are in here. Now this area we're running in right now is brand new to me by the way, so I don't know what's actually gonna go on here. I don't know which sort of monsters we're gonna find, but hopefully we're gonna find some monsters that allow us to get some XP so we can develop very, very quickly, but uh, hopefully the monsters aren't too difficult either. Let's see, we don't wanna die. Oh, this wasn't a dungeon? Huh, I really thought there'd be a dungeon entrance here. Now something weird I found about this game is that we can't actually jump. There's no jump functionality whatsoever, which means we can't jump over these walls, obviously. Uh, so we do have to run around things a lot in this game. Oh, look at this, look at that fallen leader. Do you guys think we'll be able to defeat him? He looks like <laughs> he looks like a strong one. Oh wait, I think we'll be able to kill him actually. Come on, fallen leader, you're going down. This is probably someone we have to kill for a quest as well, by the way. But we are defeating it right now, right here. Come on, 20 HP left, and there we go. Didn't we get any XP from this guy? I feel like we got too little if we got any. Oh wait, can you? Can we? It looks like there's something underground here. Hmm. I don't think we can get down there. This was interesting though. Let's go find some more monsters and see if we'll have to get back to this guy later on. So just have to remember that this is where he spawns uh, when eventually that quest comes up. Now I have experienced a few weird glitches with this game where sometimes monsters, enemies would get stuck or sometimes they just wouldn't attack back at all. So we could just stand there hitting at them, which doesn't feel great, but I do expect that those types of things will get fixed over time and hopefully uh, very, very soon. I guess what really excited me about this game is that it's a really promising online RPG with a few months of of extra content updates, I really feel like this game has a lot of promise. It seems very solid already, and it's certainly a very unique gameplay experience on mobile at least. And then add to that that we don't have any card systems, we don't have any energy systems, we don't have any VIP systems, and you've got one of these rare mobile RPGs that are actually worthwhile to play for you guys. So do let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. And if you've already played it, let me know what you thought about it as well. How did you find the monetization, for example? Because the monetization, the way that works is that we can buy some of the premium currency called gems. Let me just go show you guys that after we've defeated this lizard creature here. There we go, picking up some gold. So we can buy some more gems for in-app purchases and we can spend those gems on either buying more gold 
or we can spend it on buying loot boxes. And we actually have a free loot box that we can open right now. So let's do that and see what we're gonna get. We got some gold, we got some leather armor, and we got some legs. And now we can choose to watch an advertisement to get another free chest. Not gonna do that though, but this does give paying users a page of progress fast advantage because they can buy these, for example, the magical chest, which is very expensive in terms of how much real life money you're gonna have to spend on that one. And then that will give you higher level items much, much faster, and it will give you gold as well. But the good news here is that I haven't felt the need to buy anything yet, and several players who've played even more than I have, have also told me uh, that they're doing just fine at later levels without spending any money, even at level 17, at level 20, uh, and even above that, I think. So it seems to me that this game, yes, it does monetize. Yes, you will be able to progress faster, but you don't really need to buy any of them. So I wouldn't be too concerned about the monetization. Certainly that shouldn't hold you back from actually trying the game uh, in, the, in the first place. So as for where the game could improve though, I would love to see the spawn rate increase a bit. I feel like sometimes there are too few monsters, especially when we're playing on a server where there are too many other players who have defeated those monsters already. And while part of the game's charm, of course, is that we can do whatever we want whenever we want to do it, we don't have a whole lot to do other than just kill more monsters, which might make the game grow a bit boring eventually. So I do hope we'll see more challenges, more sorts of quests in the future. I know we have quests already, but maybe more team activities. That would be kind of cool. Maybe we could have some sort of dungeon, an actual dungeon with a boss monster that you have to team up to defeat. Things like that would make this game even much, much more better, I feel like. One thing I nearly forgot to add, by the way, is that once you die in this game, nothing really happens. You keep all of your gear. In fact, we just died and look at this. We still have all of our Gianas. We still have all of our gold and nothing too bad really happened. So there's nothing wrong with trying to go up against a very strong enemy. Don't be afraid of doing that. You're not really gonna lose too much time. You do have to run back to where you were fighting before, of course, but, uh, but it won't take long in this game. I mean, we can run from one end to the other of this map in probably less than two to three minutes, I would say. So definitely just go up against those strong enemies because if you kill them, there's a chance you're gonna get some really epic loot and that will help you defeat even stronger enemies in the future, of course. But look at this, we're defeating a black troll all on our own and that made us level up. So now we can accept the next quest and let's have a look at what that quest actually is. Once we're done beating the shit out of this black troll here, is it gonna drop anything though? Let's see. Nope, nothing dropped, but we have a new quest. Kill the fallen leader! <laughs> Told you guys! So now we have to go back and we have to find the fallen leader again. Luckily we know where he's at. So we just have to find him and hope that we're able to defeat him. Now we can maybe level up some items. Let's have a look at the boots we've got on us right now. They add 112 in health. And what about these new ones here? They add 150, so let's definitely equip those instead. And is there something we can level up? Yes, we can level up our armor here, so let's do that. And that now adds 218 in health. And lastly, let's also see, yes, we have some attribute stat points that we should definitely add. Oh, where do we wanna add it? You guys can see that I've focused a lot on vitality and strength so far. Speed, I haven't found to be too useful, I guess, that sometimes you wanna run away from enemies, but mostly I wanna go for vitality and for strength. Uh, maybe luck, what does luck actually do? Does it increase? Some basic stat, I guess it does. Can't even see it increasing anything. Let's go for some more uh, vitality. I want to have more HP. Now we can reset these attributes, luckily. So if you make a mistake, you can do that. I think you can do that all the way up to level 20 or so for free without spending any in-app purchases or real-life money on the game. But then after that, you will have to start spending some of the premium currency. Now we do also get some premium currency for free from simply playing the game, from completing quests. And you guys will see that as soon as we've defeated this fallen leader here, which I really hope we will be able to defeat it, then we'll get some of that premium currency. Look at us though, we're up here. This is a very nice view from up here. Look at that. That's not bad. And it looks like we've already targeted uh, the fallen leader. He was down here as expected. So let's add our shield buff here. Let's do a special ability attack on him. And let's just hit him with some of our normal attacks. He has 1000 HP left. We have only 800. So it's not looking too good actually. I think we might have to run away, recover some HP and then get back to this guy. Let's see if we can get away from here. Let's run, run for it. Okay, so this is why you need run speed, right? <laughs> let's get out of here, let's get out of here. Oh, we can actually lure him out here. Hmm, it would be kind of nice if someone would come and help us right now. Oh wait, I think we're gonna defeat him, guys. Look at this, 100 HP left. 86 HP left, we have 200, he has 24, and there we go, we defeated him, we got some gold, we got a warrior's guard, whatever that is, so that's a new armor piece, is that better? Oh yes indeed it is, look at that, 360 health increase, and a shield duration increase as well, plus 0.3%. 
That is awesome. We also got a new sword that it seems we can't equip yet for some reason. Oh, it's because it's only for assassins. All right, all right, I see. And this is only for sorcerers, and we are neither of those. We're just a, a normal warrior. Now, I would like to see some more character customization as well, by the way. We can't really change a whole lot about our character when we create it. But, you know, those types of things can be added later on. So now we have to reach level 14 before we're able to complete or continue to the next quest. So this is definitely going to take a while. So I think we'll just start ending up the video here with the mobile gaming news of the day, which is that games publisher Congregate has announced that it has acquired the mobile and browser RPG Bit Heroes. And now Congregate plans to expand the game into an entire franchise. So that's pretty amazing news for Bit Heroes fans, I guess. I actually played the game two years ago here on YouTube, and it felt to me a bit like a Club Penguin for RPG fans, which means the game is at least very, very unique. There's nothing quite like this game on mobile or on the web, I guess. And with that said, I hope that you've just enjoyed today's video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to this community, but you like mobile games. And until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around.